As the retail industry struggles, the world's largest store, Walmart, saw sales rise and beat both profit and revenue estimates for the quarter. Now, that's not an easy thing to do in this environment. But like Home Depot earlier this week, the results were not enough, good as they were, not enough for investors. They were disappointed by the adjusted earnings and the outlook. Courtney Reagan has more on Walmart's quarter. It's steady as she goes for the world's largest retailer, Walmart putting up another solid quarter nearly across the board, leading the discounter to raise its profit expectations for the year. But in the most recent quarter, profits were capped because of big investments to improve e-commerce, increase wages, and lower prices for shoppers. However, the investments seem to be working. Their improvement of their, the way the stores look, the assortments in the food area, the quality, the service, the friendliness, I tell you something, dramatically different than a year ago, and that was even better than the year before that. While other retailers have seen inconsistent sales trends, Walmart has reported a string of sales gains, marking 12 straight quarters of growth. U.S. store traffic also continues to improve, and analysts think profit margins may start to grow again soon. In a world where Amazon seems to be taking over, if you can have a player like Walmart not only accelerate comp store sales, but also increase margins, uh, you know, this will be a pretty good story. While still a much smaller part of the business, Walmart's U.S. online sales grew 60 percent from last year, just slightly below last quarter's growth. Walmart says the sales strength in the quarter was broad-based, but it did call out grocery, noting the best performance in five years. Since food is more than half of the discounter sales, most analysts agree it's the most important category for growth and a big focus for Walmart. The discounter's online grocery with parking lot pickup has been well received and will be in more than a thousand stores by year end. An important opportunity, especially as competitors like Aldi add stores, Lidl enters the U.S., and Amazon buys Whole Foods. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Courtney Reagan.